Okay, the other thing to tell you is that this building here, this old one, not this new one, this old one, which is now part of the Pleasance, I think, and moving along there, we don't need to walk along there, but um, although that's again leads us back to, um, uh, you know, to um, high school yards. Um, but uh, this was the um, uh, factory, a uh, stationary factory owned by neighbours of uh, Houghton, uh, a family called the Waterstones, not to be confused with Waterstones, the bookshop people now. But Waterston, without an E, uh, was a sort of stationary maker and they made sealing wax. And this was their factory where they made these things. And they lived in a house here in the same row as Hutton's, you know, but further back. Um, and uh, after Hutton's death, uh, a sort of son of the f family, the Watersons, uh, John James Waterston, uh, was a sort of pioneer of the kinetic theory of gases. He came up with the kinetic theory of gases about 10 years before James Clark Maxwell, who was sort of famous for uh, coming up with the theory. Uh, James Clark Maxwell also from Edinburgh, by the way, um, but no connection between them. Um, and uh, when, um, uh, when Waterson submitted his paper on the kinetic theory of glasses to the Royal Society in London for publication in their um, philosophical transactions, they rejected it, saying it was absolute nonsense. You know? <laughs> and then 10 years later, James Clark Maxwell becomes you know, sort of uh, fated for inventing this new theory. And it was only at the end of the um, uh, 19th century. Uh, uh, this is, so uh, John James Waterson's paper was 1843, I think, like, and, and uh, Maxwell's sort of 1850-something when he publishes. Um, so it's only in about 1898 or something like that when um, the uh, secretary of the Royal Society, for some reason, sort of managed to, you know, came across um, Waterson's paper, original paper that he'd sent and had been rejected. Uh, and then they published it and said, you know, that this guy was a pioneer, but too late. <laughs> he was dead by then. Um, but it said one of the problems with Waterston is, and let, let this be a lesson to you all, uh, he was very, very reclusive. And although he was obviously a brilliant mind, and he, he didn't just come up with the kinetic theory of gases, but he had other uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, pioneering ideas as well. Uh, but because he never mixed with other scientists and uh, wouldn't have anything to do with the Royal Society, mind you, you can't blame him for that after they rejected his paper. But, um, so it meant that he just, you know, he was burning his light under a bushel and, uh, you know, effectively disappeared or would have disappeared without trace if it hadn't been for this uh, Secretary of the Royal Society.